Hello everyone. What a beautiful day we have today to celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation when the Archangel Gabriel came to the young woman, Mary, and announced to her that she was blessed among women, that she was going to have a baby. His name would be Jesus and he would be a holy man. Here's a 14-year-old woman who's faithful to God and she's told this news totally by surprise and out of the ordinary. It's no surprise that she responds by being troubled and then asking the question, well, how can I have a baby? I don't have a husband. And then she's assured by the angel that the Holy Spirit would come upon her and that she would give birth to this child that she would name Jesus. And at that point, Mary says, let it be according to your word. I am God's maidservant, and I say yes. So how do we sit down as a family and discuss, even with our younger children, how do we say yes to God every day, every hour of the day? Especially in these difficult times right now when we are confined more to our homes, we have more of an opportunity to discuss some of these things. So for a young child, perhaps saying yes to God is to be obedient to mommy and daddy. For a school-age child, saying yes to God might mean putting down a um, the computer or an iPad and to put that aside for 10 minutes and perhaps to sit down and have a children's Bible and to, and to read it and to try to absorb the words and what it has to teach. For us adults, we have many opportunities daily, and especially in these days when we're in very, very close quarters. There are more temptations in terms of how we can say yes or no to God by the ways in which we treat one another as family members. So on this blessed day, when we have the example of Mary, the Theotokos, saying yes to God, perhaps we can consider doing some different things as a family to make us more aware of the ways in which we can do this. So for school age and older kids, maybe sitting down and writing a list of all of the adjectives that you can think of that describe Mary, and then perhaps take one of those adjectives and how she lived that out in her life and on a daily basis or just for today, how you, with God's help, can live that out in your life. So perhaps one of the adjectives for her will be faithfulness. What one or two things can you do today? Ask God for help so that you can be more faithful to God. Uh, parents, there are lots of icons online and um, there where you can you can print out an icon of the Annunciation that's in that's sketched and then you can have your children color it and then you can talk about the feast more. Ask the mother of God to pray for you because she is closer to God than anybody else and than any other saint. Um, and she's always praying for us and asking her to pray for us is a way of saying yes to God. And I'd like to end this video today with um, a woman from our staff, our media coordinator, Mari McMullen, who will be chanting the, the Apolotikion for today, the hymn of the Annunciation for us. Today is the fountainhead of our salvation and the manifestation of the mystery which was from eternity. The Son of God becometh the virgin Son, and Gabriel announceth the good tidings of grace. For this cause let us cry to the Mother of God with him, 
Rejoice, thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed day, everyone, and I'll see you again next week.